Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry I couldn't be here today. Um, so we're doing it a little bit early here in my office, but uh, welcome everyone to Loper Luncheon. Um, we had to leave for our road trip to Oklahoma this morning early. Uh, we'll be on the road all the way through the weekend and get back home late Sunday night. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll come back with a couple victories or at least one. I um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about our two games that we played uh, this past weekend. Uh, and thank everybody for coming out and supporting us. We had a pretty uh, wild and exciting night last Friday night. We kicked off at 10 p.m. after the high school football game. So it was pretty exciting, a pretty unique experience for everybody, and I appreciate everybody coming out and supporting us. We had a pretty good crowd that night. Uh, we went down early <clears throat> in the first half, 2-0. Um, had a very interesting halftime talk with everybody, <clears throat> and we wound up coming out and playing probably our best 45 minutes of soccer of the year in the second half. Uh, we had a little bit of luck, which you, you have to have. Uh, came back and tied, this, tied the game up with two seconds left in regulation, and then we wound up uh, winning it in sudden death overtime, so that was pretty exciting for everybody. Uh, we were very happy with that result and with that game and the effort that the girls gave. Um, on Sunday was a little different story. Uh, we got caught <clears throat> a little bit real early. They were a very talented, very fast team. They caught us. Uh, it was a, a little bit strange because uh, at one point in the game they took seven shots and all seven of them went in. Uh, <laughs> at halftime we were down 5 nothing, which is hard to swallow at home. Uh, but we were still pretty happy with what we were doing offensively. Obviously defensively we didn't do anything right. Um, and made a lot of mistakes, <clears throat> and they caught us, especially with their speed up front. But uh, we reacted well, and uh, we talked about how well we played and how many chances we created in the first half in that game on Sunday. Uh, we actually could have scored several goals ourselves, so we weren't too disappointed at halftime uh, with the way we played, uh, but very disappointed with the five goals that we let in. Our plan was to come out and, and get a quick goal, which we did in the first minute, <clears throat> And we felt like we could really get back into the game and score plenty of goals. Um, unfortunately, they scored another one. And at, at some point, you know, it's just too many goals to catch up. Uh, it was a good, good opportunity to get a lot of girls playing time, and that's what we did. So uh, uh, it worked out okay for us. Obviously, you never want to lose, especially that bad at home. Uh, so we don't plan on doing that very often. But um, uh, we learned from that experience as we, we learned from all of our games. Uh, and then looking forward to this weekend, we got two of the toughest teams in our conference, Northeastern and Central Oklahoma. <clears throat> so uh, it's going to be tough for us this weekend, but we're looking forward to it. Uh, we always like to play good teams and good competition. It's going to be another real good test for us as a team. We've got some injuries, uh, but we also have people recovering from some injuries. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're, we're looking forward to it uh, this weekend, and, and hopefully we can come back with some results. Um, uh, looking past that, our last two home games are October 11th, it's a Thursday night at 7 p.m. And then a Saturday, October 13th, I believe it's at uh, 12 p.m. Yes, 12 p.m. And those will be our two last home games. We really appreciate for everybody to come out and see us and support us. Uh, we really need to push hard here to make our first ever conference championship tournament, and that's our goal. Uh, and then you never know, we might get into the NCAA tournament too, but we gotta, we got to win some games here. We have seven games left in the season, and we're real excited about working real hard and, and trying to get some results that, that can lead us into the postseason. So uh, thanks again for being here this morning, this afternoon, and uh, sorry I couldn't be here. Um, have a great day. Thank you.